really, really wide. Then we're going to scrunch them up. Then we're going to lift them off the floor and spread them wide. So we're extending them. And then we're going to fan them back down towards the floor. Then we're going to scrunch them up. Then we're going to open them up. And then we're going to fan them back down towards the floor. One more. Scrunch up. Lift up. Fan them back down. I'm going to have to take them off because I'm going to have to I'm going to show you something. I'm going to do some Mexican wavy stuff as well. Okay, so scrunch them up. Just be brave. Fan them. Roll them back down. Good. And one more here. Scrunch, lift, and then fan them back down. Then we're going to lift the big toes independently of the others. So just take your time. Have a look at them. Make sure you've not locked your knees. Your knees are still soft. And then lift all the other toes up to join them. Then press just the big toe down. Then lift all the toes up. Then place just the little toe down. If you've had to roll your foot over to get your little toe down, keep the little toe down and try and roll your foot back. Then lift all your toes up and place your big toe down, then your little toe down and keep your middle three up. <laughs> I saw that, Claire. And then lift them all up and place them down. Okay, same thing again. Slowly through. Lift your big toe. Z. Good. Then lift all your toes and work to place your big toes down. Good. Then lift all your toes. Work to place your little toes down. Keep your knees soft. You can look at your toes, it's totally good for you. Then lift all your toes up and place your big toes down first. And then try and place your little toes down without placing the middle three toes down. <laughs> Shake it off. Then we're going to take our back of our foot, our dorsi part of our foot, and place it on the floor. And here, when you're here, you just want to make sure your pelvis is pointing as straight forward as you can, shoulders straight ahead, and take two nice big slow breaths into your rib cage. Really focusing on that 3D, 360 breath. So inhaling into the sides, the back, and then getting that sternal movement at the top. Once you've done two on one side, swap and do the other side. So same thing on the other side. Good. Nice breaths. and then come back to standing with your feet side by side. Okay, so we're going all the way through the sequence today. So let's warm our shoulders up and our neck up as well. So we're going to look over one shoulder and then you're going to use your eyes to look a little bit further around. So look with your eyes a little bit further and then come all the way around to the other side, same thing. And then look with your eyes a little bit further and then come back to the center. Then you're going to take one arm. So I'm taking my right arm and I'm going to place it on my left, my hand on my left ear. And I'm just going to allow the weight of my arm. So I'm not yanking my head over. I'm just letting the weight of my arm just draw my head down to the other side. And just take a nice breath here. So I'm, my right arm is drawing my left ear towards my right shoulder, like through my head. That's right. Yeah, yeah, good. You should feel this nice, lovely stretch here. Then take your other hand out towards the side and reach it away. That should just continue that nice, lovely stretch. And then replace it back to the center. Same thing on the side. Left hand is on my right ear. Drawing towards my, my left ear is drawing towards my left shoulder. And just take a breath here. Not doing anything else. And then reach your hand away. Just get the continuation. And then back to the center. And then for our shoulders, we are going to take our hands by our sides, fingers down our trousers, and we're going to reach. So we're going to reach through. And as we reach through, I'd like you, as you start to feel your body, I'd like you to see you start to stretch from your feet. So we're stretching from the feet all the way up the sides of our body, all the way up, all the way up. So your shoulders shouldn't be crouching up towards your ears. 
you're reaching from your bottom, from your heels, all the way up. And then we're going to reach a bit further with our right hand. So really lengthening through that right side and then allowing it to come back down. And then stretching, so reaching from your heel all the way up through the other hand and allowing it to come back down. And then both hands together, reaching up. So it really feels like you're almost stretching your sides. So it's a great one for stretching off the back of that rib cage as well. And then back down and then shake it off. Okay, so let's get started. So we're going to start with our feet hip. I'm actually getting a bit warmer already, so that's good. Tits off, so I've got fewer things. Sorry, I got stuck in my jumper. Okay. Okay. So I've got fewer things on. So we're going to start with our feet side by side. And we're going to start with our first pose, which is our Athena pose. Feet side by side. Knees are nice and soft. Good. Make sure your feet are pointing in a straight line. Nice neutral pelvis. Ribcage stacks on top of your pelvis, gaze towards your horizon, chin horizontal to the floor. We're going to put, take our weight from wherever it is and we're going to shift it forward a little onto the balls of our feet, keeping our toes soft and our heels growing into the floor. We're making sure that our ribcage is equal distance away from our pelvis all the way around. So we can take our hands back above our head and we can actually stretch one side a bit further, stretch the other side a bit further, bring it back to the center. And then you can move your rib cage back so the back of your body has more stretch and then the front and then back to the center. So you want to make sure your rib cage is directly over the top of your pelvis. Neutral pelvis, stretch the hands out towards the side, palms face forwards, rotate your wrists, your elbows and your shoulders into your first position. Balance point still forward. Three breaths here in an apnea and then we're going to move up to a second position with our arms in third. Ready to inhale. In, two, three, out, five, four, three, two, one. In, two, three, out, five, four, three, two, one. In, two, three, out, five, four, three, two, one. Close your mouth and nose, pause. Widen your ribs for ten, nine. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. In, two, three, move to second. Five, four, three, two, one. In, two, three, out. Five, four, three, two, one. In, two, three, out. Five, four, three, two, one. Close your mouth and nose, pause. Widen your ribs for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. In, two, three to third, five, four, three, two, one. In, two, three, out, five, four, three, two, one. In, two, three, out, five, four, three, two, one. Close your mouth and nose, pause. Widen your ribs for ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. In, two, three, to high V, five, four, three, two, one. In, two, three, out, five, four, three, two, one. In, two, three, out, five, four, three, two, one. Close your mouth and nose, pause. Widen your ribs for ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. In, two, three, to your T, five, four, three, two, one. Reach out through your little finger. In, two, three, out, five, four, three, two, one. In, two, three, lengthen through your spine. Five, four, three, two, one. Close your mouth and nose, pause. Widen your ribs for ten, nine, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, 
two, one. In, two, three, to a low V. Five, four, three, two, one. In, two, three, out. Five, four, three, two, one. In, two, three, out. Five, four, three, two, one. Close your mouth and nose. Pause. Widen your ribs for ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale here. Exhale. Shake these arms off. Shake your legs off a little. And we're going to come into the hip hinge position now. So same thing. Find that lovely alignment again. So rib cage on top of the pelvis. Shoulders nice and relaxed. Eyes gazing towards your horizon. We're going to imagine we've got that open drawer behind us. And we're going to shut that open drawer with our bottom. So nothing else has changed about our body. We have just hinged at the center. And we're going to place the hands on the tops of the thighs, fingers pointing in towards each other. And we've still got this extension in our wrists. So making sure we've still got that extension to add for that fascial stretch. Gaze towards your mat about a meter in front of you. Little balance point forward on the balls of your feet. Press out through your elbows, trying to keep your shoulders nice and wide. Ready to inhale. In, two, three, out. Five, four, three, two, one. In, two, three, out. Five, four, three, two, one. In, two, three, out. Five, four, three, two, one. Close your mouth and nose. Pause. Widen your ribs for ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale here. Exhale and hinge for a moment. We're going to do that one again. Just give yourself a little kind of figure of eight with your hips. Give it a little swing. Okay, so find that alignment again. Ready to do your hip hinge. So hinging at your hips. Place your hands on the tops of your thighs. You want to feel like your heels are growing into the floor and, and, and they're growing into the floor and your head's growing towards kind of the opposite side of the room. So you want to feel that stretch all the way through that back line of your fascia. Ready to inhale. In, two, three, out. Five, four, three, two, one. In, two, three, out, five, four, three, two, one. In, two, three, out, five, four, three, two, one. Close your mouth and nose, pause. Widen your ribs for ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale here. As you exhale, we're just going to take one step down and then we're just going to take our other step down into our upright kneeling position. Now, showing you from the front, the legs are hip distance apart. Our toes are curled underneath behind us and we want to really find that neutral pelvis here. So make sure you're not sitting back a little tight with tight hip flexors. So think about that torch shining out of your vagina <laughs> straight towards the floor. This really helps here. Rib cage directly on top of your pelvis. We're going to stretch our hands out towards the sides in the downwards V, this time starting here, reaching out through your little fingers. Now, if you want to, you can do a little tilt forward. So you just tie, so it's like the, the thing on our feet, but just smaller, a little tilt forward. Feel like your heels are pressing back behind you. Gaze towards your horizon, ready to inhale. In, two, three, out, five, four, three, two, one. In, two, three, out, five, four, three, two, one. In, two, three, out, five, four, three, two, one. Close your mouth and nose, pause. Widen your ribs for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. In, two, three, come internal second. Five, four, three, two, one. In, two, three, out. Five, four, three, two, one. In, two, three, out. Five, four, three, two, one. Close your mouth and nose, pause. Widen your ribs for 10, 
nine eight seven six five four three two one in two three to a high v five four three two one in two three out five four three two one in two three out five four three two one close your mouth and nose pause widen your ribs for ten nine eight seven six five four three two one inhale here exhale shake your arms off we're going to come into a quadruped position so remember for this one we want to make sure our knees are directly underneath our hips our hands are directly underneath your shoulders and just check in with this because this is our starting position make sure your ribcage is equal distance away from your pelvis all the way around so we want to make sure our bum is not in the air really or, or tilting down the way curl your toes underneath behind you you want to feel like you're pressing your heels away from you you can keep your hands here if this is more comfortable for you or we're going to turn them in the way to face each other so we're going to turn them in the way then we're going to press our shoulder blades out towards the side and bend our elbows a little so we have that same position we had in our second internal gaze straight down towards the floor i'd like you to feel like your coccyx is being pulled one way and your head the other now i'd like you to imagine that the floor is boiling hot and you want to just you you have to touch it but you almost want to lift away from it so we're sh working into our shoulders a bit more okay three breaths here ready to inhale in two three out five four three two one in two three out five four three two one in two three out five four three two one close your mouth and nose pause widen your ribs for ten nine eight seven six five four three two one inhale here as you exhale you're going to place your hands with your elbows so keep one hand where it is and just place your elbow down so you get it in the right position and then you're going to take your other elbow and come down so it looks like a sphinx position good they look nice then we're going to take our eyes and we're going to look back just beyond our elbows back towards our knees a little because we want our whole spine to be nice and neutral beautiful press your heels back behind you now we can add a little bit here so you can feel like you want to draw your arms away from each other here or you can feel like you want to draw your elbows back towards your knees so pick which one you like the best or none at all and ready to inhale in two three out five four three two one in two three out five four three two one in two three out five four three two one close your mouth and nose pause widen your ribs for ten nine eight seven six five four three two one inhale here as you exhale we've got two arm positions you can do next so i'll show you in both so the first one is the easier one so you can bring your fingertips together to form a kind of triangle and then keeping your pressing your keeping your fingertips together you're going to press your elbows out towards the sides and bring your hands in line with your elbows and then your forehead lightly brushes the backs of your hands or the slightly harder one we put our fingers together same thing but this time keep your fingers where they are and press your elbows out towards the side so your forehead is lightly brushing the floor between your elbows so pick which one you like the best so i'll do them both again from the side for you so the easy one is bring your fingertips together and then move your fingers down in line with your elbows pressing your elbows out towards the sides the slightly harder one is fingertips together and then press keep your fingertips where they are and press your elbows out towards the side so pick which one you'd like to be in make sure think about pressing away from the floor with your forearms in both the positions press your heels away behind you nice long spine and you're only lightly brushing the floor or your hands with your forehead ready to inhale in two three out five four three two one 
In, two, three, out. Five, four, three, two, one. In, two, three, out. Five, four, three, two, one. Close your mouth and nose, pause. Widen your ribs for ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhaling here, and as you exhale, just pressing yourself back into a sitting position. Now, if you need a block or a cushion, grab one. Now, we're going to be here for three breaths and three apneas. Okay, so we have a choice of legs. You can either sit with your legs crossed. You can have your legs out in front of you, hip distance apart with a little bend in them, dorsiflexing the feet. Or we could sit with our heels together and our knees out towards the side. So pick which one you want to be in. In all of them, we're dorsiflexing our ankles. Good. Sit right on your sit bones. And again, find that rib cage directly on top of your pelvis, equal distance away all the way around. We're going to take our hands out towards the side, stretch our fingers away from us in a V. And then we're going to rotate our wrists, our elbows and our shoulders and bring our hands in to sit on our thighs. So we're pressing into our thighs with our hands. I'd also like you to feel like you're slightly pressing into your hands with your thighs. Gaze towards your horizon, listen to your conversation behind you, grow roots into the floor, lengthen your head away, ready to inhale. In, two, three, out. Five, four, three, two, one. In, two, three, out. Five, four, three, two, one. In, two, three, out. Five, four, three, two, one. Close your mouth and nose, pause. Slowly widen your ribs for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. In, two, three, to your T. Five, four, three, two, one. In, two, three, out. Five, four, three, two, one. In, two, three, out. Five, four, three, two, one. Close your mouth and nose, pause. Widen your ribs for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. In, two, three, internal third. Five, four, three, two, one. In, two, three, press away with your elbows. Five, four, three, two, one. In, two, three, out. Five, four, three, two, one. Close your mouth and nose, pause. Widen your ribs for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, Four, three, two, one. Inhale here. Exhale, shake these arms off. Hey, we're going to supine. So we're lying down on our backs into Demeter. So the pose we're going into now is called Demeter. So we want to have, start with our feet flat on the floor. We want to find our neutral pelvis first. So find your neutral pelvis. Then find your rib cage on the floor as much as you can. Again, equal distance away from your pelvis all the way around. The back of your head, that bumpy bit called the occipital bone, is going to be on the floor. And then we're going to dorsiflex at our ankles. Press your heels lightly into the floor. Feel like you're dragging your heels back towards your sit bones. Hold that little ball between your knees. We're going to stretch our hands out towards the side again, palms facing up towards the ceiling. They can be on the floor in a downwards V for this one. Feel your shoulder blades nice and wide on the floor. Reach out through those little fingers, ready to inhale. In, two, three, out. Five, four, three, two, one. In, two, three, out. Five, four, three, two, one. In, two, three, out. Five, four, three, two, one. Close your mouth and nose, pause. Widen your ribs for ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. In, two, three, to your T. 
five, four, three, two, one. In, two, three, out, five, four, three, two, one. In, two, three, out, five, four, three, two, one. Close your mouth and nose, pause. Widen your ribs for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. In, two, three, to your high V. Five, four, three, two, one. In, two, three, out. Five, four, three, two, one. In, two, three, out. Five, four, three, two, one. Close your mouth and nose, pause. Widen your ribs for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale here. Exhale, give these legs a wee shake off, give your ankles a wee shake off, give your arms a wee shake off. Then hands just by your side, feet flat on the floor. Feel your neutral pelvis still. We're going to do three nice slow breaths and then we're going to pause and very slowly open our ribs just in your own time. As you inhale, I'd like you to think about something, someone or some place that brings you joy. As you exhale, I'd like you to think about some place, something or someone who brings you calm. Take your time. Three breaths in and out. And at the end of the third one, you're going to do this pause for a moment and then do the slowest rib opening you've ever done. Take as long as you can. Super, super long. Three breaths. Nice and slowly. Good. And then we're going to do the same thing after you've done that, but this time with no apnea. So same thing, inhaling in joy, exhaling out calm. But at the end of the third one, we're just going to pause and do nothing at all. And you're just going to wait in that space, just feeling, really feeling that calmness. So really visualizing your calm thing on your long pause. So we're talking to your nervous system. Nice and slow with your breathing. And then bring your one knee in towards your chest and stretch the other leg out. Good. And just take a nice breath and as you exhale, just relax your legs and pull your knee in towards your chest. And just nice slow breathing when you do this and then swap to the other side. Same thing. And just drawing that knee in towards your chest. You can draw it in a little bit further as you exhale. So take your inhale to just pause and let the tissue settle. And then as you exhale, you can draw it in a little bit more. Just take a couple of breaths here. <laughs> 